Good afternoon and welcome back to the newest of our foraging videos. As you're going to see, we have uncovered a few more trees and what looks like a really great harvest. We're borderline drought here though, so the fact that it looks like a thunderstorm, it's hopefully brewing in the next couple days, would be really good news. Enjoy the video and we will talk. On another note, when you're out foraging, always be careful to wear clothes that aren't your brand newest clothes or anything like that because you do have a tendency to get fingers that look like they're purple or whatever color you happen to be digging up that day and you don't necessarily want to have everything you own be stained unless you want that tie-dye kind of look in all your clothing. As I mentioned earlier we seem to have a really good almost bumper crop this year with the mulberries so far so we'll get some of these picked and see what we do with them once we get them back to the castle. The raspberries do look like they're getting a little bit more color at least but as you can see they are still not ready. The good news is they're not going to get blown away in this windstorm either. Tree number two for the day that looks to be ready to harvest. Let's see what we can get off here. And we've been thinking about what we should make for you later today. And it looks like we might be looking at some berry rhubarb crumble. I'll check when I get home to see if there's any. Two more mulberry trees. And an answer for George's question. George asked if I cook with sugar. I certainly do. Um, if you're diabetic and that sort of thing, then you obviously have to be careful about the sugars that you consume. So if that's the case, then that has to be your primary concern. In other cases, such as myself, I just try not to eat a lot of refined sugar, like candy and such. And then when I cook with jams, I don't feel as guilty about using sugar. Another foraging tip, if you're out and you see a lot of bent over grass like this, it likely means that you were firsted either by an animal or a person, and um, then you have to see what's left for you. Let's They're see what's lush. in this. They're full, and they are absolutely delicious. <laughs> 